good morning one and all today we will discuss about the concept of bistable multivibrator working here we will discuss the analysis of the fixed bias bistable multivibrator working of this one Before going into this concept, we will discuss the basic function or basic things of a transistor working. Okay, before going into this, we will still see the basic thing that is, if we take a transistor like this, an NPN transistor having base, emitter and collector terminals and the collector is connected to VCC, an emitter terminal is connected to ground is connected to ground and output is collected across the collector here at the base i am applying the input voltage okay the cutting voltage of this base emitter terminal of the q1 transistor is 0 0.7 okay so when i am applying an input which is less than 0 0.7 volts then the transistor q1 will not conduct which is not sufficient for the transistor to drive into on then the equivalent circuit will be like this this is the collector terminal this is collector terminal and this is the emitter terminal grounded and I'm collecting the output across the collector terminal. When the input is less than 0 0.7, Q1 base and emitter terminal will not allow the transistor to on. Then the collector and emitter terminals will be open. Then the total output voltage will be the VCC. That means when input when input is low or zero that is v input is less than 0 0.7 then transistor q1 is off collector and emitter terminals will be open then output voltage is equal to vcc similarly if you apply an input more than 0 0.7 what will happen see here i'm taking a transistor this is the collector resistor and this is VCC and I'm collecting the output across the collector terminal and this is the base terminal and this is the emitter which is grounded. This is RV resistor. Here I'm applying the V input voltage. This is the cutting voltage of 0 0.7 of base emitter voltage of Q1 transistor. Okay, now what will happen when the v input is greater than 0 0.7 then q1 transistor will start conducting then collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited then the equivalent circuit will be like this here the collector i'm giving vcc this is rc now when the input is greater than 0 0.7 q1 start conducting then collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited at the output v output equal to zero all the vcc will go into the grounded then output voltage equal to the saturation voltage or it is almost zero this indicates that when input is high or one that is v input is greater than 0 0.7 that is the cutting voltage of the transistor then the q1 is on output voltage output at the collector will be zero that is saturation voltage almost 0 0.1 or 2 that is the collector saturation voltage this is the basic concept before going into the multivibrator concept. That is, whenever the input voltage is less than cutting voltage, then the transistor will be off 
and the output equal to VCC. Whenever the input is more than 0 0.7 or high, then the transistor Q1 is on, then the output is zero. By using this concept, we will understand the basic working of multivibrator. I think, is it clear everyone? Now we will go into our concept of fixed bias bistable multivibrator. So the bistable multivibrator having, here we will have two transistors. We will have two transistors, Q1 and Q2 transistors. This is Q1 transistor, Q2 transistor. Both the emitter terminals are grounded. This is emitter terminal. Both the emitter terminals are grounded. Okay. The collector terminals are connected through the collector resistor RC1. This is RC2. Both the collector resistors are joined together and given a common voltage source of VCC. Okay, now the bases of Q1 and Q2 are cross coupled. That means the output, the collector output of first transistor is coupled to the base of Q2 transistor through the resistor R1. Similarly, the collector output of the second transistor is coupled to the base of Q1 through the resistor R1. This is the resistor. Okay. And the base resistors are to both the base resistors are joined together and given a voltage source of minus VBB. This is the basic circuit diagram of a fixed bias by stable multivibrator. Okay. All of you clear about the circuit diagram of a bistable multivibrator. Now, here the minus VBB which helps the bistable multivibrator to make the transistor to stay in the stable state. Okay. So, after designing the circuit like this, when you switch on the power supply, when you give the VCC supply voltage, then Assume that any one of the transistor is off and another transistor is on. Let us assume that Q1 is off. When you switch on the supply voltage, then Q1 is on. When the Q1 transistor is on, the collector and emitter terminals will be short-circuited. When the Q1 is on, the collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited and the collector output voltage is the saturation voltage. As we have discussed in the previous topic that the basic concept whenever you give a high voltage or more voltage to the transistor it will conduct the Q1 transistor is on automatically the output collector voltage is saturation voltage. This saturation voltage is applied through the resistor R1 to the base of Q2 transistor, which is low value, that is less than the cutting voltage. So it will make the Q2 transistor to off. Now the Q2 is off. Then the collector output voltage. Whenever the transistor is off, the collector and emitter terminals will be open. Now the collector voltage will become VCC. Okay, is it clear? Whenever you design a circuit like this and given a power supply voltage, so whenever the supply is on, one of the transistor is on and another transistor is off. This condition is called as a stable state. Stable state of the multivibrator, that is Q1 is on, and Q2 is of one of the stable state. This Q1 will remain in the on and Q2 will remain in the off. 
if we want to change the state of these transistors we have to apply a trigger pulse we can apply the trigger pulse at the base or through the collector also we can apply to the trigger pulse if now if you apply a trigger pulse to the base of the q1 transistor okay now if you apply a trigger pulse to the q1 transistor if or you can apply a trigger pulse to the q2 transistors okay so if you apply a now i am applying a negative going trigger pulse to this transistor q1 so which is not sufficient for the q1 transistor to conduct then q1 transistor will enter into off state okay now the q1 is in off condition what will happen the collector and emitter terminals will be open all the vcc will be appeared across the collector terminal so the output voltage is equal to vcc okay this vcc voltage now the collector voltage of the first transistor is vcc which is applied as an input to the base of q2 transistor now the q2 is getting vcc voltage which makes the q2 transistor to conduct or turn into on condition now the q2 transistor will be on whenever the q2 transistor is on the collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited the collector output voltage will be equal to the saturation voltage or almost zero this is called as the another stable state second stable state this is second stable state which is q1 is on and q2 is off that means it is having two stable states if you want to change again again you have to apply another trigger pulse this is the concept of a bistable multi vibrator and we can also see the output waveforms how it will be appear that means the collector output voltages we can also see here this is the collector output voltage of the first transistor this is the collector output voltage of the second transistor and the trigger pulse this is the trigger pulse applied so during the first condition when the power supply is on what is happening first condition into what is the first condition q1 is on what is the collector output voltage it is zero the vc1 is saturation voltage almost 0.1 or 0.2 saturation voltage this is the condition for q1 is off and q2 is on so this is the collector output voltage of first transistor the condition is q1 off and q2 is on condition the collector output is zero and what is the collector output at the first stable state it is vcc this is vcc same term okay so whenever you apply a trigger pulse okay then the transistor is changes its state from on to off then the collector output voltage of first transistor is vcc now it is enters from zero or saturation to vcc this is the level of vcc here q1 is off okay here the q1 is off so during q2 what about the q2 the q2 transistor will be in on condition then the collector output voltage is in the saturation mode this is the second one how it is changes whenever you apply a trigger pulse when you apply a trigger pulse the state of the transistor is changes okay this is the concept of fixed bias by stable multi vibrator thank you one and all